All right. Good morning, guys. So welcome to live trading. So live trading is something that I do every single day for MIC members. Um, this is something that is an add-on. So if you are interested in live trading, uh, it is an additional thing that I do to help cut down your learning curve a little bit more. Um, you could watch all the videos, you could participate in all the webinars, but you know, being behind my shoulder every single day while I trade it's something that I think is really, really valuable. So I usually do one of these free every single month. And there's usually a lot of people that want to see this. So, I mean, I get really excited for these days because it gives people that have not seen something like this, what real live trading is like. There is no alerts. There is no pumps. There is no buy here, sell there. I'm just trading the way that I would normally trade. And I'm just imagining that someone is right behind my shoulders watching. So I do the same things that I do every single day, right? So the way that I structure these live trainings is pretty simple. The first thing I do is I build the watch list live. After I build the watch list, I talk about the current market sentiment. I recap some of my trades from the last day. And then I open it up to a little bit of a QA. and a And then the last few minutes, I just kind of keep it quiet to myself to kind of get into the uh, zone for trading. So... First things first is I'm going to build the watch list. And the way that I build the watch list is I always go to the previous day's watch list first, right? And I create my watch list based on the previous day. So let's start with PRZO. So PRZO, uh, this is an Israeli company, right? And if you guys have been paying attention to the news, there is a war going on in Israel. And what ends up happening is whenever the mainstream media is covering a certain topic or a certain news or certain something, it gets more attention than it normally would. So this stock, PRZO, that went from $0.60 cents to nearly 320 probably would have not done this if it was not an aerospace defense Israeli stock, okay? Now, what do I think happened here? So I think that a lot of people had the right idea to buy this stock thinking that, all right, it's going to go to the moon, it's going to go to the moon, it's going to go to the moon. And what ends up happening, guys, is that because every single trader is on the same side of the trade because every single trader is thinking to go long, it does the inverse. So, <clears throat> so in my opinion, guys, in my opinion, this PRZO became very long crowded. There was more longs on this stock than there were shorts on this stock. And that led to the fail this morning because every single long was looking for a gap up. They were looking for a gap up, okay? And because the stock did not gap up and indeed it gapped down, now all of those people that were buying long on this stock for the gap up to six, seven, eight are now underwater. And all of the shorts that said, oh shit, like I'm just going to wait, I'm just going to wait, I'm just going to wait, they ended up uh, not being involved in the stock. So, in my opinion, guys, the fact that this stock did not gap up, the fact that uh, it is red on the day, and the fact that it is on day one, two, three on the day, there's a top watch for me. There's a top watch for me. So PRZO is a top watch for me because it's crowded with longs. It is red on the day. And it is day three of the day. Does that make sense? So PRZO feels like this is very long crowded. Everyone was looking for a major gap up. It did the inverse. Not only that, it is red and on day three of the move. So this is a top watch for me to short. Now, where would I short this? The obvious simple answer is draw your resistance lines, right? So if I draw my resistance lines, so resistance, is going to act as resistance. Look at that. Where did it fail? Support should act as resistance. Okay. And resistance should be right over here around 310. So I drew my lines. I'll probably look for like a 270, 280, 310. Right. So looking for 270. Oops. 270, 285, 310 lines. Scale in short with a stop over previous days by the day. If this just tanks at the open, 
I will look to short a bounce toward VWAP. So this is my top watch today. This is my top watch again because it is long crowded. It did not gap up. It is red on the day and it is day three of the stock. Okay. So next, MTech. MTech, this was kind of like a sympathy play to uh, PRZO. Again, it was trying to gap up. It didn't really do anything. The problem is there's not much range on the stock. So because the range is gone, I'm not really interested in it anymore. So because the range is shot, I'm done with it. I don't really want to look at it. I'm not really interested in it. So if there was more range, it could give me the opportunity to uh, attack, but there's no fucking range. And now you guys can see this shit, this PRZO is looking weak. Oh, also good, but good point, Joe. So PRZO closed at 270. So because it closed at 270 at 243, it's going to have SSR on. Most of the time I hate when SSR is on. The only reason why I don't care if it's on today is because it should allow the stock to bounce. So if the SSR turns on, <coughs> that should be able to bounce this stock enough for me to get an entry. So I am hoping to Allah, Jesus, Buddha, the spaghetti monster, that this shit uses SSR to bounce up to my ideal entry and then collapse. Okay. So let's see. Uh, where was I? IMUX. IMUX. Uh, oh, no, not IMUX. Sorry. Uh, MTech. MTech, not enough range. So ignoring it. Um, MTech, not enough range. So ignoring it. INDO. I don't know why my chart's bugging out, but INDO, same thing, not enough range, ignoring it. Okay. Now that I did yesterday's stocks, I'm looking at what stocks are moving today. Very, very clear hot stock of the day, SMX. So if you guys don't know, I do not like to trade the hot stock of the day, the day one stock. I am human. I screw up from time to time, I deviate and I break my rules. But on this type of market, when everything is kind of just starting to go crazy, I don't want to deviate today, man. I don't want to deviate today. So SMX is the hot stock of the day with all of the attention, ignoring the shorts, okay? Um, what else is moving? We have MOB. MOB is a potential... Hot stock of the day. So this one I feel like could also get some attention as well. If you look at the daily chart, it does have a daily chart of it coming and pushing and coming back down. But we are currently in a market where this shit is kind of going a little bit stronger than people think. So I'm also going to ignore this MOB, potential money flow stock. So what we mean by the money flow this is a concept that we've created here at MIC and the basic uh, premise of the money flow means that there is usually one stock of the day that all of the money, all the traders are flocking into. And we call that the money flow stock. What ends up happening is if something like <coughs> SMX, if something like SMX tanks, where is that money that flowed into SMX going? And it usually goes to the next stock, which I think might be MOB. Why? It has high volume on the day. And it's in a nice $2 price range that people like, right? So money flow stock, ignoring the short, unless a major collapse. More commentary at open. Um, what else is moving today? We have J-O-B-Y moving, which is a Carisdale capital short. Um, and that shit's down 50% already, right? I mean, yeah, they put out a call today that it's a short, but it's down 50%. So, I mean, like, I just think it's an ignore. So another thing about me, guys, is I try to disqualify stocks, okay? I'm not the guy that's trading every single stock. I'm not the guy that's trading 15, 20 different stocks a day. I'm not the guy that's saying buy here, sell there, buy here. I want to eliminate as many stocks as possible. I want to disqualify 
as many stocks as possible. I want to narrow it down to the top one or two that I think have the highest probability, right? So I ignore stocks. I don't touch them because I'm coming up on my 10 year trading anniversary. And you better believe that I lost my ass so many times trading the wrong stocks. So I ignore plenty of stocks. Anyway, uh, BTAI. BTAI. So this one's just weird, man. Why? It's so beaten down. It is so beaten down, 34 to 2. And what's the gap today? It's up 3%. 3%? It's not enough meat on the bone. It's not up enough. It's not up enough. It's not up enough. So BTAI, not enough meat on the bone to short. IMUX. IMUX, I actually like this one. Let me just double check the float on this. So IMUX, I use a tool called Dilution Tracker. Float is 38 million and it's kind of a toxic company. So it kind of fits my criteria for shorting on a bounce. Uh, where would I short? So let me draw my lines. Support should act as resistance. Resistance should act as resistance. And resistance. So I look and I see 210. 220 and 250 with a probably a 265 stop. Why 265? It gives me a little bit of breathing room over high today. Um, APLD. I don't really like this anymore, guys. It kind of collapsed way too much already. Um, what else? I think that's it. So that's it, guys. That's me building the washer. So before I continue, does anyone have any questions? Someone asked if I use volume profile. I don't really use volume profile, guys. I just, it definitely helps some traders. But for me, I'm the type of trader that's less is more. I'm the type of trader that I don't want to get too biased from outside information. So although volume profile is helpful, I just personally don't find it helpful for me. Is PRZO an A setup for you? I would consider PRZO probably an A minus, B plus. So this is a question I get a lot, when to locate shares to short. I'm just going to post the video so that you guys can see it, but I will also explain this very quickly. Uh, this is the exact video. So it depends, right? So if it's a day one stock that has a lot of attention, and for whatever reason that day one stock fits my criteria to short, I will locate it first thing in the morning. If something is relatively expensive, right? If something is relatively expensive to locate, I will only locate a starter and locate more as I need it. For something like PRZO, I located half size. Why? Because it's pretty high, high, again, I don't want to jinx myself, but it's one of my good setups. It's a good setup for me. So for based on the statistics that I have gotten from my trading after years and years, I've determined what my best setups are. And based on what those best setups are, I'll locate a certain amount more or less. So the easiest answer is only locate a starter. Now, how to know if you should even locate the stock? My thought process is you have to make at least two times the locate feedback. So if the locate is 10 cents, if you don't think that you can make 20 cents on the stock, don't locate it. PRZO was five and a half cents today. I know for damn certain I am going to make more than 10 cents if this stock works out. So I'm okay locating it, right? 
So these are the lines I drew on PRZO, guys, and I'm going to just uh, redraw them for you so that you guys see it. So let, let me just draw everything so you guys see what I'm looking for. So first things first is resistance. Notice this resistance is lined up to here. So this 265 level should be pretty strong resistance. Low of the day should be pretty strong support. Now, yesterday, it went under to 210 and bounced. So for me, I'll be looking at this 210 area for support and these 190 areas. Okay. And then additionally, I would draw a line here. Look at this. Previous resistance is going to act as support, is going to act as support, is going to act as support, should act as resistance. So this area, 265 to 285, is a pretty substantial resistance on the stock. So hopefully it bounces up there. Um, but aside from that, guys, aside from that, uh, with 10 minutes until the market opens, uh, now we're on to the Q&A part of the live trading. So I start with watch list. I talk about a little bit of market sentiment, which I went over in PRZO, and then I do a Q&A, and then I start trading. Would you short SMX if it breaks 290 on a massive red candle? I mean, to be honest, guys, not really, only because it's day one with 19 million shares of volume, and the float is 2 million. So this is a nano float, day one, hot stock. Just because it has a death candle does not mean that it's going to be over. This could very easily midday trap and go straight up. If you make money on a stock, but don't make enough to cover your locate costs, do you consider that a win? I mean, if you stuck to your rules, you stuck to your plan and you executed your plan, that is a win. There has been plenty of times that I have made money and that is not a win because I deviated from my plan. There's plenty of times I lost money and it's been the best trade I've ever done because I followed my plan. So PRZO is doing exactly what I thought it would, right? So again, to recap PRZO very, very quickly, guys, okay? Every single person was anticipating a gap up. Even my stupid ass was anticipating a gap up. I was like, let me shit gap up to three, four, five, six, and let me short the hell out of it there. So what ends up happening is all the shorts cover because they're like, I'll get a better price. All the longs are like, I'm going all in. I'm mortgaging my house. I'm going to sell my cat and my dog to buy this stock. And it ends up not gapping up. And not only does it end up not gapping up, it goes red. When a stock goes red, psychologically, that triggers people to take profits. Psychologically, it turns the tides. So for me, I have a new hot stock of the day, SMX. I have a new potential side stock, MOB. And PRZO is on day three of the move. It's red and it's long crowded. And the locates are getting a little bit more expensive. If I'm looking at the locates now, they're still around uh, five and a half cents. So this is fitting everything that I need to see to uh, ideally attack. So now, SSR should turn on at the open on this stock. If it washes out, I will not chase it. I would need a bounce to 250, 260, 270, bounce, bounce, bounce. It's not considered a first red day only because it's not extended enough. 60 cents to three bucks is extended. But I would love if this gapped up to like six bucks, had one more day of like crazy running action and then fail. The reason why, again, I like this stock today. Uh, the reason I like this stock today again, guys, is because it did not gap up. It gapped down. Uh, it's day three. A lot of people are not watching it anymore. There's a new stock, SMX. There's a new stock, MOB. You know? And this is what I do every single day, guys. So for so far, for people that are not in live trading, 
in Slack. Uh, what are you guys thinking so far? You guys haven't seen anything yet, but just the analysis of how I determine how I narrow it down and how I, <coughs> excuse me, pick the stocks to trade. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I just am recovering over COVID. I had COVID last week. I just tested negative this weekend, but I still have a lingering cough, so I apologize for that. There's going to be a lot of uh, what sounds like 85-year-old smoker coughs. Uh, how much percentage of your size for fantasy orders and which percent for confirmation? I'm always using 30% until I see a confirmation. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, COVID is a real uh, killer. So again, keep in mind, guys, that this stock yesterday was at 240s. So although it's down 14%, I mean, what's stopping this shit from going to $1.50 in the next coming days, right? If the backside of the move is confirmed. No, you sound great, Tay. If this washes out, guys, if this washes out, I am not going to chase weakness. I am going to short the bounce. And I mentioned earlier that I located half size of PRZO so far just because I like the setup. Whereas I don't recommend that most people locate half size because most of you guys don't know what your ideal setup is yet. Um, with five minutes until the market opens, guys, I just want to remind everyone that I'm not a financial advisor. That this is meant, this is not meant to be financial advice. Everything I say or do is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Trading is risky, and you have to be prepared to lose all of your money trading. And it's not meant for you guys to copy or replicate any of my trades. It's just meant for you guys to be over the shoulder as I trade every single day. So we got about four minutes until the market opens. I do not use market orders. I only use limit orders only. We got about four minutes until the market opens, guys. I'm going to go on mute for a little bit to kind of just relax and get prepared for the morning. So I'll probably be back here in just a few minutes. So thanks, guys.
All right, I'm back. All right. Mark is open. Okay. No, I have no orders. You guys will see my orders on the chart. <clears throat> I'm waiting for this pure zero to bounce. <laughs> SSR, the ask is stacked. So again, I'm not chasing weakness, pure zero. I am not chasing weakness. I need a bounce. So I'm waiting for a bounce. I'm waiting for a bounce. I actually yeah, broke down. No, I don't have any orders out yet. As of now, watching IMUX and PRZO for bounces. I am not chasing weakness, PRZO. I'm not chasing weakness. I need a bounce. At least I would need a bounce of 250 for like a starter or something. I am UX waiting for a bounce. So again, guys, I am not chasing weakness. I cannot chase weakness. I have to wait for a bounce. I have to wait for a bounce. <clears throat> I will settle for 250 if it bounces. Again, I need a bounce. I am UX, no chance. PRZO is not even fucking moving. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Yeah, let's see if this is going to bounce. Okay, come on. Give me something.
So I'm going to look around 250 if I could get it. MOB is failing a little bit. I'd be a little bit patient. <laughs> okay, here we go. So just to cure some FOMO, I took a starter at 241. This is literally just me curing my FOMO. I want to get 250s. Here we go. So we'll be scaling into this bounce here, PRZO. Again, just small size scaling until it gets to my ideal entries. Oh God, that's a fail, shit. That's not good, that's not good. I'm trying to see if I could add a little bit, but I don't know, that's a fucking fail if I've ever seen one. That's a fail, shit. Oh, I got, I got a little bit of the add 230. Damn. All right, well, at least I got my starter towards 250. So PRZO, the support is here at 220s. I have some open orders to short on the bounce on PRZO. Yeah, I just got some starters so far. I have open orders to short some more PRZO on the bounce if we get there. Any reason why you didn't take profit on that wick? Uh, it kind of looked like it was going to keep failing, to be honest. I got a little bit of an ad there, 230, partial fill. Again, now trying to short bounces on it because it doesn't really look like there's much attention. If I'm wrong, I could always cover out and reshort. SMX, I am not touching. There's more sellers showing up on the tape, PRZO. Fuck. Mother fungus. 220s, sellers, SMX looks like the hot stock, waiting for bounces on IMUX. SMX 
SMX trying to reject, but I don't trust that stock, dude. I do not trust SMX. IMUX trying to bounce. So I still have some open orders to add on uh, PRZO in case it bounces. Got some more 230. Again, just taking it slow. Uh, I have about 20% of my size because it didn't get to my ideal entry point of like two, like 250, 270s, et cetera. So I'm only in small for now. I'm still hoping that there's going to be a bounce that comes into this stock to allow me to really get some size on. But in the off chance that it does not bounce, I will cover the deck. Notice you called out the fail on PRZO before it went really red. What told you that? Uh, there was sellers stacked on the ask on SSR. So on SSR, they have to hug the ask. So once I saw those sellers really coming in, I was like, God damn. Okay, seeing if I can get a little bit more ads on the bounce. I'm just trying to scale into this because what I see in my head is I see it was just consolidating at 230 yesterday and it went as low as 180. So on the day that it's broken today, what's stopping this from going back to 180? You know what I'm saying? J-O-B-Y, yeah, that was an avoid, guys. I put that in the watch list to avoid. <clears throat> so 230 is starting to act as resistance but again i want to see if i can get some better entries IMUX looks pretty weak, to be honest. I was sitting, I had an order in like the 170s. I never filled. Uh, if PRZO start to go up, would you consider stopping out and covering? Yeah, I would, it depends how much it goes up, but for now, it just looks dead. So I'm trying to add on these bounces, guys. I'm trying to add on these bounces, but my high conviction is now going to medium conviction because already dead. Yeah, volume is a, a determination of demand. And because there's less volume today, there's less demand on the stock. SMX, I would just ignore it, guys. I'd ignore SMX. 24 million shares of volume, day one, low float, hell no. IMUX more fails. Hindsight, I could have taken a starter. I just didn't. Always looking for ways to improve.
God damn. Motherfucker's red. Shit. Slow action. But that 230 ad was pretty solid. Notice, guys, previous support should act as resistance. Do you see this line I drew right here? Previous support should act as resistance. So 225 has some bidders stacked up. Chances are if 225 breaks, it'll probably go back to low of the day. It was actually an uneventful day. I thought it was going to be a lot more action with PRZO and all these other stocks. Just goes to show that you never know. But in my opinion, there's a lot of longs that are stuck on PRZO. So all these bounces should technically fail. Got a little bit of an ad there again, 230. Again, I want to see this bounce. I wouldn't be surprised to see it bounce towards 250s. You have a yellow and blue line. What's the difference? One is VWAP calculated for market hours only. And one is VWAP calculated with market hours and pre-market as well. So I just like to have both areas for me personally. We got MOB bouncing a little bit. I'm going to put that on my screen instead of IMUX. So 230 is acting like a very solid resistance. Let's go back to yesterday's chart and see what was happening at 230. So 230 yesterday, it looks like it was support all day, right? So support all day. So look, I'm just going to draw a line to make it very clear. 230, resistance, access, support, 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 support. It's supporting all day. So it's no surprise that that support is now acting as resistance. Pretty uneventful day, but green so far. That's all that matters. MOB is bouncing. I think a small starter on MOB into this bounce. Ideally, get towards this second VWAP area to add. PRZO broke that 225. So 220 is the next support. MOB, this is a broken stock that I'm just shorting the bounce on. Yes, it could reclaim. That's why I'm only using a starter. But it looks like it failed. Seeing if I could get an ad. SMX is still hanging around. IMUX is just getting clobbered. Um, a little bit of an ad there on the bounce, MOB. Taking it really slow, taking it methodically. 
letting these trades come to me, not trying to oversize, not trying to over trade. I still don't have much size on PRZO only because it didn't bounce enough yet. So if this just tanks, you know, I'll cover what I got. I mean, the individual bars don't really matter. It's the uh, overall price action, right? The overall price action is the trend is down. The pops are getting sold. One candle does not determine anything. Very good add on MOB there into the 189s. So notice MOB, broken stock, tanked at the open, bounced to VWAP. All I did is short the bounce. I'm not looking for this MOB to make me rich. I'm just looking for it to be a nice addition. Falling asleep a little bit here. But this is what trading is really like, guys. Sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes nothing happens. But it's not so bad when it's boring and you're making money. So notice I shorted the bounce on MOB. And then when it failed, I tried to add to the winner. I got a pretty good add there on the winner. And now it looks kind of weak. So I'm going to set some fantasy orders, some open limit orders to cover on the dip in case it just washes out. So I set some fantasy orders to cover on the dip of MOB just in case it washes out. PRZO is still acting weak. This should break the low of the day. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, break. This is the difference between front side of the move and back side of the move, guys. Very clearly, you can see the difference in price action. Remember, where is the support from yesterday? The next support should be 210. So 210 and then 190. Come on down. Two seventeen, two twelve. Okay. Oh, day. So the thesis was correct today. Day three, red, crowded with longs. Does that make sense, guys? Are you guys this is making sense to you? Oh, hello. Covered some, covered some at the 210 support. Fuck it, covering some more, 206. Do you guys see in this shit? Where did I draw my support? 210. Where am I covering? 210. Would I reshort a bounce to 220? Fuck yeah. This thing is dead now. This thing is dead now.
And the only reason why I cover guys is to be able to add back on a bounce. So I want to be able to add back on a bounce. I wasn't able to get much size on this stock. It actually pisses me off that I wasn't able to get much size, but because I'm able to make so much on the range, I mean, fuck. 201, hello. Covered, whoa, okay, hello. Covering some more. Two bucks. Hey man, covered some more, two bucks. If you notice at not at one point, at one point at all, was I stressed on the trade. Why? I stuck to the plan. I wish, I wish this thing bounced so I could get 10, 20, 30,000 shares. Your best covers are from panic sellers. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck them. How did you know PRZO is crowded with long? So... I mentioned this at the start of the live trading, but every single person was looking for a gap up on the stock. And when the stock did not gap up and instead gap down, only people left were longs, man. Um, where would you reshort back? I would reshort back 220, 230, 240, anything. What would be your stop point at this moment? I mean, at this point, if this thing reclaims green, that's when I would stop. But this is just dead now. Now think about it, guys. Think about it. It is still exactly where it was yesterday. This thing could go back down to 150. It doesn't have to go back down to 150 today, but this is just where it was yesterday and it's broken today. So I wouldn't be surprised to see 180s. Now, am I going to have the patience to wait till 180s? Probably not. Am I going to take my money and run away? Probably. So I covered about 90% of my position here, guys, 90%. I am holding a 10% lottery ticket in case it goes even lower, or I might just add on a bounce. But most for most of the part, this trade is over for me. Unless it bounces. Look at this, guys. Just again, look at the chart. Previous support at 210 should act as resistance. 190 was support and it hit 197. That's pretty fucking close. I hope you guys are seeing the value of live trading. Later, Jason. But yeah, I got 10% size left. I'm on autopilot and I'm just waiting for this thing to either pay me out or I'm going to get more of an ad. Where's my next ad on MOB? I'm just waiting for now. I don't need to add yet. MLB is bouncing. Just watching to see if I should get an ad on it or not.
I'm just waiting, guys. Am I going to cover more on the dip or is it going to give me a bounce to add? I got no clue. Okay, we got MOB bouncing. Overall markets are very strong today. MOB bounce. While MOB bounces, PRZO remains weak. PRZO, I'm waiting for my lottery ticket to pay me out. Got a tiny add on MOB there into the bounce. Again, nothing of size yet. I'm waiting to see how this 205 resistance area is. Can someone recap my thesis for PRZO short? Yeah, I'm waiting to see this VWAP around 205. Got 28 minutes until zombie times. If PRZO bounces, I'm going to be reshorting the bounces. MOB, a little bit of a fail. Added MOB on the fail. Good add so far on MOB. Dude, this IMUX is just melting. Uh, MOB, good fails. Very good fails, MOB, good ads. PRZO bouncing, slowly scaling back into PRZO on the bounce. Can you please talk about what makes you stop out aside from breaking the high a day or reclaiming the death candle? That, that's what makes me stop out. Usually what the stop out is, guys, is when the when my thesis is no longer valid. So if my thesis is a death candle and it reclaims a death candle, it's no longer valid. If my thesis is a break of VWAP and it reclaims VWAP, my thesis is no longer valid. So whenever my thesis is no longer valid, that is when I stop out. So PRZO, I'm going to be scaling this bounce. I'm willing to scale every 10 cents on PRZO. SMX is still very trappy, man.
So do you guys see the stock selection today? Shorting the broken stocks and ignoring the hot stocks? PRZO, good add into resistance there. Draw a little bit of a support line at 201, just to visualize it. I know it's kind of a boring day, but this is what trading is like, guys. If it's boring and you're making money, you're doing something right. If you're looking for action, you're looking for this, that, I mean, chances are you're going to have a heart attack. I've been there. I've done that. I'm not looking for those heart attack days anymore. I'm looking for my slow, easy peasy, consistent money every single goddamn day. And for those of you that have already been in the live trading, you guys know that the only thing that scares me is when grandma's on the bid. When grandma's on the bid with her retirement account. That's what scares me. So really good stock selection today. MOB failing. Filled some of my open orders on the dip that I mentioned earlier. So I mentioned that I have some open orders on the dip to cover and filled one of my orders so far. Yeah, I'm not touching SMX, bro. That is way too sketchy. Way too sketchy. Thirteen, I mean, twenty three minutes till zombie times. Any questions so far, guys? So again, I'll be looking to add on bounces on PRZO. Nothing monumental today, guys, but it's enough to pay the bills. Low stress. Very low stress day. And that's what all that matters.
by being able to consistently show up to the market, make a nice paycheck and not have any stress at all means I'm doing my job right. Yes, could today have been a 10, 20, $30,000 day? Yup. Did it follow what I needed it to do? Not really, but still can't complain. So just waiting for MOB to fail, waiting for PRCO to fail. Slow and steady. Ask is stacked on PRZO. Remember, where is the next support on the chart? 190s. MOB, I see a big bid at 183. So I just took a little bit on the ask at 184 just to mitigate my risk a little bit. PRZO, looking for this washout. Come on, PRZO, do it. Come on down. So good ad at 210 earlier. Very nice. Covering some at low today, 198. Notice I'm using weakness as my exits. I do certainly think that it's going to test 190, maybe even lower, but I'm taking my money, baby. Uh... How are you guys liking the live trading today?
a little bit slower, but money is money. Oh, sorry, I missed all your comments. Who the F are you at 202? <laughs> All size adds up, man. Again, 13 minutes till zombie times. Just waiting for things to wash out and come to me. I'm just waiting now, guys. I'm waiting for these things to just kind of come to me. Uh, at this point in the day, would you stop scaling and only exit considering zombie times are coming? Uh, for MOB, yes. For PRZO, if this thing bounces, I would still look to short it, but... Once again, just waiting here for my orders to fill. Zero percent stress today. Once the zombie hours start, do you change your mindset on PRZO? Normally, I would. But because PRZO is so broken and because it has so much range, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay um, attacking more. But 90% of the time, I would avoid zombie times. When you enter those starters to cure your FOMO of 10%, do you mean 10% of your full size or 1% based on the 30% max size scale? I do 10%.
I wasn't able to get much size on today anyway. A question about what do you mean when the ask is stacked? So when a stock has SSR and someone wants to short it, they cannot short the bid. They can only short the ask. So you see big orders walking down the stock on the level two. That's mostly because shorts are trying to enter, but they can't hit the bid. So this MOB is starting to act a little bit annoying. Ideally, this MOB fails soon. Yeah, APLD was an avoid. I'm just waiting. If I really want, I could just cover out and call it a day, but being a little bit greedy. VWAP fail, MOB, SMX, some attention. SMX looks like it's going. Hopefully it takes the attention off these other stocks. Just waiting. Finally, MOB, a little bit of a dip there. SMX is taking some attention.
all in study. PRZO's pattern would be just a broken stock. You could consider it a low hanging fruit. Yeah, you could consider a low hanging fruit. What would need to happen for you to say, okay, let's go full size PRZO if this thing bounces to like 260 and then immediately death candles? MOB, I covered a little bit more on the dip here, 184, because I'm running out of patience on this stock. We're approaching zombie times, running out of patience. PRZO is not really a first red day, only because it's not as extended. If it gapped up again today, maybe tomorrow could have been considered a first red day. But as of now, I know as soon as I cover this last piece of PRZO, the bottom is going to fall out. I know it. You know, guys, I think I'm just going to call it a day. I'm covering out of everything and just calling it a day. So I locked in. I'll show you guys. Locked in 2300 bucks today. So I made 2300 bucks. low stress. Not much. Uh, didn't really matter too much to me. Um, but what I remind myself, guys, what I remind myself is this. I remind myself that if I can make $2,000 a day, that's $500,000 a year. So I'm making $500,000 a year on my pretty much my slowest days, right? So this is kind of what live trading is like every single day. This is kind of what I do every single day. So, I mean, to me, guys, this is a no brainer. So what I decided to do is I have a very, very, very special thing that I'm doing at today's live trading. So for everyone that attended today's live trading, if you are an MIC, you're going to get one month of live trading for free. And then after that one month, it'll renew at $200. So literally, if you sign up using this link, you will get one free entire month of live trading free. Free, 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 okay? And for those of you that are not in MIC, I made this link here, tinyurl.com slash alexlive30 to get 30 days. So I want all of you guys to sign up for free, free, free live trading. If you guys don't sign up for free, then I don't know what the hell to do, right? So I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of signing up because it's a little bit complicated, okay? So click this link. It's going to take you here. So you will see first month is free. First month is free. Okay. So after that month, it'll renew at 197, which is the normal price. At that point, I can't help you. So this is how you do it. Type in your name, type in the email that you want to use for live trading. I'm going to use alex at myinvestingclub.com. Okay. After that, it's going to take you to a legal disclaimer. This legal disclaimer pretty much explains that I am not a financial advisor. Actually, it's going to give you a code. So let me get my code. So don't use a fake email. Don't do anything like that. It's not going to work. Uh, as soon as you get your code, here's my code. It's going to basically take you to a DocuSign, which is going to mention that I'm not a financial advisor. You know, it's not meant to be financial advice, educational purposes only yada, yada, yada. You come down here, you just click this button and you hit adopt and sign. Now, very important step, guys. Very important step is you have to hit finish, close, and continue. If you do not click continue, 
you will not be able to sign up. So after you click continue, just put in your credit card information. You will not be charged. Zero. Zero. And then after a month, you'll get charged $200. If you want to cancel before that, just let me know. But I mean, if you guys are not signing up for literally free, for free, then I don't know what the hell to tell you. Free. So if you're an MIC, I highly suggest that all of you guys do that right now. If you are not an MIC, use this link, tinyurl.com slash alexlive30, and you're going to get literally one month of live trading for free. While this is happening, PRZO is bouncing, so I'm going to have to short this bounce. So I shorted a little bit on that bounce, PRZO. Um, oh, wow. And of course, as soon as I cover MOB, it's fucking tanking. Of course. Well, of course. Anyway, so you all better sign up for one month of live trading, guys. One month for free. For free for one month. This is for everyone. Everyone. So once again, I'm going to go through the process once more. Okay? You're going to take this link. You are going to put it into your browser. Okay? Once you put it into your browser, put your name, put your last name, put your email, put your email again, and go to the legal disclaimer. It's going to send you a code. Once you get that code and input in that code, you're going to click the disclaimer. Yes, it starts from tomorrow. If you're already signed up for live trading, don't do anything. Do not do anything. This is just for people that are not part of live trading already. You're going to click continue. You're going to read the disclaimer. You're going to sign your name. You're going to hit finish. As soon as you hit finish, you have to hit continue on the top. If you do not hit continue on the top, it will not work. Okay. Type in your email, type in your car, type in everything. And it's going to be zero for the first month. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. And then it's going to renew at 90, 197, which I think is still too cheap for this. But on the off chance that you want to cancel, just send me a message in MIC or send me an email and I will take care of it. But if I don't see all of you guys sign up for live trading, for free live trading for a month, oh my God, oh my God. And I can't help you. I literally can't help you. I cannot help you. So once again, guys, once again, this is the link if you're an MIC. If anyone needs some support, I will put the support sheet there so everyone sees it. But yeah, guys, this is now one month I'm giving you it all for free. So if you've ever been on the fence, if you don't know if you should try it, if you like today, if you are a member, you're a non-member, whatever the hell you are, try it. Try it for a day. I mean, try it for a month for free. Literally for free. Once again, for free. And I am almost certain, guys, that you're going to love what you see. And on the thank you page, let me just show you real quick. After you sign up, there's a thank you page. And on that thank you page, it has very important information. So let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Um, let me see. So this is what the thank you page looks like, guys. So after you sign up, after you sign up, it takes you to a thank you page explaining everything. Please watch this thank you page video to learn how to access the live training. So once again, guys, if you are not in MIC, all right, if you are not in MIC and you do not uh, have access to the link, I will show you. The link is right here. The link is tinyurl.com slash alexlive30. Right here. So, I mean, this is a no-brainer, guys. 
If you don't sign up for live trading after today for free, then I can't help you. Straight up, I can't help you. PRZO, trying to add a little bit to this winner. But yeah, guys, you're going to be getting 30 days for free. This is only for people that have not signed up already. If you've already signed up, I mean, thank you for the support, but this is just for people that have not signed up yet. And again, guys, you will not pay anything for 30 days. And after those 30 days or before those 30 days, if you want to cancel, which I don't suggest doing, but if you want to do it, just let me know. But aside from giving you guys this stuff for free, literally for free, I can't do much more, man. I really can't do much more. I really cannot do much more than give you this stuff for free. I'm trying to add some more PRZO. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm probably going to cover this PRZO on a dip. Of course. This is live trading every day, guys. I do this every single day. And I know that a lot of people have been on the fence. I don't know why you guys have been on the fence, but I hope today, seeing what I'm doing, seeing that's free for a month, I had a lot of people tell me not to do it free for a month, but it is what it is. I don't have any other questions before I wrap this up. The really good ads on PRZO. <laughs> I covered it all and I got a way better entry. MOB, of course, is lower without me, of course. And as you guys know, I posted my profits here. So you guys can see, oh wait, let me show you my profits for the month so far. So Google, Google, uh, what the fuck is it? Google Sheets. So let me show you guys my profit for the month so far. I forgot to take an image. One second. So I track my profits, guys. Give me one second. Uh, how much should I make today? Seven, two, one, plus one, six, one, six, two, two, three, three, two. That's six and a half. So far this month, guys, I'm up 12 grand. Up 12 grand, trading one, two, three, four, five days. Last month, I made 43,000. So I'm trading really well. Motherfucker, this... PR's MOB, always, bro, always when I cover, always when I cover. Fuck. Always when I cover, man. Always when I cover. Uh, all right. All right, guys, I'm probably going to call it a day here. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But for all of you guys that attended today, enjoy your one month of live trading for free be sure to click continue on the DocuSign or you will not be able to. And put in your credit card, you will not be charged. It just helps us authenticate that you're an actual human. So I'm going to call it a day here, guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I will post when I am done with this PRZO when it dips down. So I'm just going to call it a day here. Thanks, everyone. And see you tomorrow, 9 a.m.